Welcome into Burn City Sports Insiders. I'm your host, Jay Russell. This is a show where we look at sports from all around the Valley. The Suns, the Cardinals, the Diamondbacks. Got to remember the Yotes. Oh! and more. Now in the last week, we've seen the Arizona Diamondbacks advance to the NLCS with the sweep of the Dodgers. Sweep of the Dodgers, let me say that again. The Coyotes opened their season on the road with a win over the Devils, and oh yeah, the Valley Boys opened their season in Golden State, Kevin Durant's first game in the base since he left, and the Arizona Cardinals gonna be the Arizona Cardinals. Sheesh. All right, as we slide into home base now, we've got our Arizona Diamondbacks insider, Zach Tipton. We know the Diamondbacks. They battled their way into the postseason. It wasn't easy, but they got there. What's your take so far with this series with the Phillies? I mean, it's just when you came into this, they had a lot of hot streak going. They were just on fire. Their offense, their pitching, everything was working for them in that series versus the Dodgers, and everything was working for them in that series versus the Brewers. Mm -hmm. So in order for the Diamondbacks to succeed, they needed all that to continue. And in that first game, it just didn't. The hitting was terrible. The <laughs> pitching was terrible. <laughs> everything just went off the rails for the Diamondbacks early and often in that game. Well, Kelly said it wasn't loud enough. He, he's expecting it to be a little bit louder for game two. Did anybody's performance stand out to you more than anybody else? And what do you want to see more of game two? I mean, on the hitting side, there wasn't a lot that stood out to me in terms of like who, because everyone really just could not get contact on, on Zach Wheeler's pitches. But Cor Corbin Carroll got on base a couple of times and when he's on base, good things happen. Yeah. And so we need to see a lot more of that. But for me, I'm looking for help from the number two, three, four batters. Give me Christian Walker, Tommy Pham, Cattell Marte, Gabriel Moreno. Somebody's gotta do something for the for the IMAX up in the top of the order because really it was Geraldo Perdomo, Perdomo and that was it. 84% of the time, once a team goes up 2-0, they win 84% of the time. So hopefully Absolutely. they can get a win. How does their performance affect, you know, the rest of the series as it goes? Cause they could be coming back to downtown Phoenix, down 2-0 or 1-1. Yeah, I mean, I think this performance was kind of expected in my opinion. I think like when you're facing Wheeler in Citizens Bank Park in the postseason, bad things are gonna happen and <laughs> bad things did. So I think you have to really expect that was gonna happen. You're gonna go down 1-0, you have to win this game. You can't go down 2-0 heading back to Phoenix because you need to give the fans some sign of life. So hopefully they can bring it back here. And I didn't tell you this, but now you're gonna be my student on my burn or earn question of the week. And you weren't here last week for this. So I'm gonna ask you a trivia question and we're gonna see if you get it right. It's a softball. <sighs> okay. I love the real reaction right now. He's like, <gasps> I like it. All right, Zach. So in the Game 7 series of the 2001 World Series, this is very easy. You should know this here. Who made the walk-off hit against the Yankees closer, Mariana Rivera, to lead the Diamondbacks to victory? Um, I mean, I wasn't born yet. Oh, my God. And so, Brother um, making me feel low right now. And, uh, you know, I didn't start watching baseball until three years ago. So, oh, um, <laughs> so I'm I'm going to take a, a stab at I'll, it. I'll give you a choice between two. Craig Council, Louis Gonzalez, or, sheesh, I'm trying to think of somebody else who was on that team. Well, you're trying to think of a third. It's definitely not that person. So. Uh, yeah, 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 I know. So, <laughs> it's between Craig Council and Louis Gonzalez. And I'm going to say... I'm gonna say Luis Gonzalez. Okay, it's Luis Gonzalez. Okay, yeah. I was like, please get this right, because okay. there's all the main right there. Well, <laughs> hey man, I appreciate you coming on the show. We're gonna see you next week, and hopefully the Diamondbacks come back to Arizona with a win. We can only hope.